You have an idea for a generative AI project, but you first need to describe its potential impact. But how can you do it without building the solution? Through generated data. Welcome to episode 18. Most people don't understand what AI can do until they see an example similar to their data in business. I'm going to share some hacks for doing this quickly by generating data. I've organized all of the prompts and instructions into a quick start guide you can download from the link in the show notes below. These techniques are useful for analytics leaders seeking funding, product managers scoping projects, or startup founders doing customer development. Here are my three steps. One, hypothesize a business problem generative AI could solve. Two, generate the data. Three, build the prompts and a simple demo. Let's work step-by-step -step through an example using ChatGPT to generate the data and a custom GPT for demonstration. Of course, you can also use OpenAI's Playground or create a simple app using the API, but this combination works best for me. Here is the scenario. Suppose we think generative AI could help our legal team process contracts more efficiently by automatically extracting key sections like cancellation terms and storing them in a database or contract management system. We have a hypothesis, so step one is done. Now for step two, let's generate sample contracts. This step takes the most creativity. We want to develop a data set with enough complexity to be realistic, but without investing a lot of time. Let's assume our solution must be able to process contracts with a variety of structures and wording, so we'll generate at least two contracts with similar terms, but which look different. I like using ChatGPT to generate data because experimenting is easy. I begin by telling the model to generate a contract in PDF format. As expected, it does a terrible job. These models are lazy, and they'll take the easiest route possible to complete the task. I respond with a bit of scolding and specific instructions, and it generates a better example. Next, we'll create one for a vendor called Connie Catering, and this time I told it to use different language. Instead of a cancellation policy, it used termination of agreement. Again, I had to try this a few times until I got the results I wanted. This is an experimental, iterative process, and it is actually pretty fun. I've had the best results from starting with a simple data set like these two contracts and then improving it after a conversation with business leaders. So let's move on to step three and build our demo. I decided to build a GPT called Contract Parser Pro. I like using GPTs for demos because the interface is so simple. The prompt is just a few instructions along with an existing table of contracts. This formatting is marked down, and I didn't know how to format it properly, so I just asked ChatGPT to tell me. Again, I had to experiment and iterate. I wanted this GPT to only display the updated table, but it kept generating superfluous analysis, so I had to come up with extra instructions. Now I can demonstrate the viability of parsing contracts by uploading the ones I just created. And it works! The model read the contract and extracted the correct clauses. I ran it again on the Connie Catering contract and it extracted the termination of agreement clause and populated the cancellation policy field in the table. This is enough to begin the conversation with our legal team about generative AI. They will, of course, articulate additional challenges or ask for the ability to make edits as I demonstrated in episode two. I can take this feedback and make a more refined demo or propose a project. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to begin using these basic tools, especially if you are a more senior person. What I've shown you today are strategic communications tools, not solutions. I've watched C-level executives who manage teams of thousands of people accelerate their AI programs using quick demonstrations like this. You'll make more progress with a quick demo than you will by forming a steering committee that only talks about AI. So take the first step by downloading this quick start guide I created for you. It contains everything I shared today and a more complex RAG example. The link is in the show notes. 
Now watch this next video, a case study of a CEO who successfully used these techniques to discover a high growth generative AI opportunity for his company.